Hi, I'm Pete Warden, I'm the founder of Open Heat Map, and if you've got five minutes to spare, I'm going to show you how you can visualize something like the UK election results really easily using Open Heat Map. So I'm going to start with some data that The Guardian actually put together in a spreadsheet holding the results for every constituency in the UK, which party won and what percentage of the vote each party got. And what I want to produce is a map showing the percentage of vote for every party in the UK for every constituency. So the first thing you need to do is, I've got this in a Google spreadsheet, and probably the most confusing part of creating open heat maps is getting the column names right. Open heat map relies on looking at the name of each column to figure out what the data is that's in the spreadsheet, like how it should treat it, what sort of map it should create. So the first thing you need to do is go through and let it know that this column that's initially called C is actually a UK constituency, and UK underscore constituency is actually the special column name that you have to use to create this sort of map. And we want the color of each constituency to depend on the percentage of the vote, so we use a special name value for that. And we want, actually want to display a whole series of different maps in tabs, one for each party. So we change the party column to be called tab. Then all we need to do is go to the web sharing um, part of share, publish it as a web page, and take that URL that it gives us once we've started publishing and switch over to open heat map. You can see we've got a create your map option which if we click on it we can choose Google Docs and that will take us to a page where we can actually put in that URL of the public Google spreadsheet that we've published and then start uploading it to the service. It will take a minute or so as it grabs all of the data, goes through it and figures out what it is and how to map the constituencies to different areas, but then it's done. And you see there's a few warnings, well quite a few warnings <laughs> about some things it didn't recognize. The, they're not really that crucial apart from the fact that it doesn't understand Northern Ireland constituencies. So we don't have data for that. But other than that, we can go ahead and actually view our map. And you should see this selection of tabs appear, one for each of the major parties. I actually we weeded out the Monster Raving Looney Party uh, before I created this. But the other major parties should be represented. And you can click through on the different tabs, and you can actually see an information display for each constituency for each party showing as a heat map, as a thematic map, what kind of percentage they got in each area. And you can see the poor old greens didn't do that well apart from down in Brighton where they got almost a third of the vote. So we're almost done. That's almost all you have to do to actually build your map. We do need to just give it a title. Um, in this case, that's fairly easy. We're just going to go with um, UK election 2010. And since I'm using data from The Guardian, I want to actually give them some credit. So I'm going to um, put them down as um, in the author field and give a link to the original spreadsheet that they actually put on Google uh, ready for sharing. So I'm going to grab that URL and go back to the map and actually put that in as the um, link in the author section. Now we've got a key as well and that really is saying what the colors represent. So in this case that's the percentage of the vote. And you can see it's going from roughly 0 to 50 which seems like a pretty good range for showing the important stuff that we want to show on this map. It's uh, low enough that uh, it shows up some of the 
low votes for some of the smaller parties, but also has a good range for the big parties. And this map is kind of bare, so I actually want to put in some background detail by making the foreground data layer a little bit transparent so we can actually see some of the map detail underlying it. And we're done. We save and view. We get a map we can that we can actually share. We can embed this map. You can just grab that URL from up the top. You can email that around. Anybody will now be able to um, view and interact with this map, uh, zoom, it, zoom in, look at the data, um, and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to create a map. And you can actually do a lot more different types of maps on OpenHeatMap. It's not just UK constituencies. You can also do other UK data, like counties. You can do almost anything you want in the US as far as um, counties, congressional districts, states. You can put throw in addresses worldwide and actually get heat maps out of them. Uh, pretty much anything that you want to display as data on a map, Open Heat Map is there to help. So I really hope you'll give it a shot and thanks for taking a look. Oh, and I'm Pete at Mailana.com if you have any questions. So just drop me an email. Thanks a lot.